good afternoon, Mower Medic One. Today we are headed to Bonham, Texas. Six miles. The destination is on your left. How many miles? Two point six. Cool, cool. We're almost there, folks. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna meet up with another YouTuber that owns a lawnmower dealership. He owns a Gravely dealership, and he's got a couple of engines that we're gonna tear down and diagnose. And uh, we'll see you when we get there. Alrighty guys, we are here at Big Buck Mowers. Uh, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna talk to uh, Mr. Trey Driver. He's the owner of this fine establishment. And we're gonna go in and tear down a couple of engines. One's a Kohler and one's a Kawasaki. They both have some uh, pretty common failures. And so let's go ahead and go inside and see what is going on. What is up guys? My name's Trey, I'm the owner of Big Buck Mowers. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know next time that I release another video. Now I have the Mower Medic one next to me here and we're actually gonna be tearing down two failed engines. And we have a Kohler and we have a Kawasaki and we know all you guys always want to uh, argue back and forth which is better, the Ka Kohler or Kawasaki. Well, I have two failed motors right here and we're gonna tear into it right now. All right guys, so the first motor that we're gonna start is the Kohler Confidant. This is a 25 horsepower. Now it's been run hot, you can see here with the dipsticks turning black. Uh, also, we've taken off the air filter and you can see how dirty this air filter is. So you can see that all this stuff has been sucked in uh, through the carburetor and it, if it passes through the carburetor, it's actually going into the cylinder. Yep. So we're gonna tear this down and uh, show you the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and start that now. <laughs> I hear Rod and other engine parts rattling around. Sounds like some uh, playground rocks. Okay. Got your... All right, that's going to be the... 10. 10. The clip. Time for another ratchet, really. Yeah, that one. It feels like it's been heavily used. I don't see anything else holding it. Probably the straw. No. See what we got here. Definitely got some metal in the pan. Oil pump gear is sheared off. That might have contributed to the failure. There's your pieces. Yep. Man, that was black. Yeah. And it just just has a bad smell to it. Yeah, burnt oh, there smell. Go. There's some rod bolts. Yep. If it's a lubrication issue, it, the engine may have had oil in it. But if the oil pump's not turning, <laughs> you know, you're not going to get any oil to the. Well, I think this particular you know this particular motor, they ran it hot. Yeah. They ran it hot, definitely. This other motor we haven't got to yet. That particular mower, a motor was ran on half throttle most of its life while it was mowing. So, so basically our failure is on the rod. What it looks like got more, yeah. More pieces, more plastic pieces for that gear. Yep, number, let's see, this is the number two cylinder closest to the farthest from the flywheel. So that'll be number two, I believe. And yeah, there's pieces everywhere. If we wanted to take the cam out, we would have to pull the valve covers, but let's uh, pull this forward. Here, hold that there. Let me see if I can get you guys a better shot. 
All right, guys, so like I said, this is a Kohler engine. A lot of you guys wanna go back and forth which engine's better. I'm not saying which engine is better. All I'm saying is that if you don't maintenance your uh, motor properly, you're gonna have issues like this, overheating issues, or if you're not changing your uh, air filter because this particular motor also didn't have a clean air filter, you're gonna run into issues like this. Uh, so, and this, this uh, engine only had a right around 50 hours on it when we pulled it off. So it doesn't matter if it's a brand new motor or it doesn't have a lot of hours on it. If you're not maintenancing your motors properly, you're going to have issues like this. So, Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and tear this other one down. This is the Kawasaki. Oh, I believe this one's a little bit more heavier. Yeah. Now on this engine, the governor shaft comes through the sump. So we'll have to take the governor arm off on that one. Cool. Uh, what, do you know what size the governor arm is? Same size? Flat blade screwdriver. Flat head screwdriver? Mm -hmm. That'll work right there. All right. So let's go ahead. And there's nothing else holding it on except our, our sump bolts, and I think they're 12 millimeter. Hopefully it comes off just as easy as the other one. And right away, we don't see any metal shavings on this one. Oil's still a little black. Let's hit it sideways. Yeah. So let's get a 10. As you can tell, I can compress this valve all the way down. And on this valve, it only goes just a little ways. If that valve seat, or if the, uh, the valve guide walks this away, you won't be able to, the valve won't open. And I believe that's what's happened. It's slippery with this oil. The valve. Valve guide. Yeah, the valve guide has walked out, and the only re the only way that that happens is if it's been overheated. Okay, the Kawasaki's have you know they've had some issues with the heads with the valve guides walking, and uh, well, it's just mechanical stuff. You yeah, know, and everything's not foolproof, so you're going to have issues here and there, and um, so yeah, I, I think that's it's also the valve guide. Um, so really, this engine's still good. We just need to pull the head off and fix the valve guide, put it all back together, and yep. it should be good I to go. I believe it will be a runner if we get that valve guide fixed. Uh, a lot of times, it just takes a new cylinder head. But Cool. So uh, anything else we can tell these guys? Just like Trey said, do your maintenance. These engines don't hold a whole lot of oil anyway. So uh, you let it get low a little bit, and you're hurting it. But just keep your, you know, keep your oil level good, and just keep your air filters clean, and they'll live a long time if you'll just do a little maintenance. We have guys come in here all the time, and they'll tell us, hey, no, everything's been running fine, and just the oil change, or it's fine. We go, we pull apart this motor. And it's black, or there's metal shavings in it, and you can tell that they just did an oil change just to cover it up, When we're going to find that out. We actually had 
uh, a four-wheeler that came in here uh, not too long ago with the same issue that we didn't know that it was ran without any oil until after we've already started to try to work on it. So to save you guys money, to save you guys time, just be honest because we're going to find out anyways and it's going to help us uh, fix the issue or, or let you know if it's even worth fixing at the time that you bring it in. So uh, again, if you have any questions, guys, give me a call 903-583-6900. Be sure to uh, subscribe to the Mower Medic One. I'll leave his information in the video description below. Be sure to like the uh, video, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you know next time that I release another video. Until next time, see you then. See ya.